Hi, we are going to have a quick look at how to calculate the VAR of linear derivatives. Now, here we are going to have a look at the concept by looking at a simple example on how to calculate the one day value at risk of an index future. So remember, uh, index future is basically a linear derivative where the value of the futures index is related to a multiple in this case $250 multiplied by the movement in the underlying index so in this case the underlying index is the S&P 500 so when we talk about linear derivatives now if you're not that familiar with linear derivatives you could have a look at the video I did on linear derivatives so when we talk about linear derivatives, simply what we are saying is that the risk factor of the derivative, in other words, the factors that impact the price of the derivative. So in this case, for an index future, the value of the index future is simply related to the value of the S&P 500 index. In other words, if the S&P 500 index moved, let's say, by one point, the futures value will move by one point multiplied by its multiple which is $250 so the future will move by $250 so for every one point movement the future will move by $250 multiplied by one so that's that's a linear derivative in other words the movements are linear the that's the that's the reason you can see it's a straight straight line in other words, the slope is constant. It doesn't matter whether the S&P 500 is at a lower point or a higher point. For every move, in whichever direction the S&P 500 index moves, the futures value will always move accordingly. In other words, the slope between the change in the futures value and the S&P 500 is always a constant. You can see a linear regression in other words a straight line means there's only one slope so when we talk about the one day value at risk of the index future what we are saying is what's the maximum this futures index can lose in a day now that's related to a multiple in this case $250 multiplied by the one day risk in the underlying index in other words what we are saying is if you want to know how much the futures index might lose in a day of, of course with a particular probability remember when we calculate value at risk it's always based on a particular probability let's say with a 95 percent confidence level if you want to say how much the futures index is going to lose in a day that's directly related to how much the underlying index might lose in a day and you and then you simply multiply that by with $250 so this number here this this multiple is you can also call it the sensitivity of the future to one point move in the index and we, we also can call it the delta in other words this number here is simply the sensitivity of the derivative to a, sh a shift in the underlying risk factor. Now, in, in our case, for an index future, the underlying risk factor is the underlying index. But if you take another derivative such as an interest rate swap, the underlying risk factor would be the relevant interest rates. Or for a coupon bond, one of the underlying risk factors are the is a change in interest rates so remember when we talk about the value at risk of a linear derivative it's simply the sensitivity of that derivative to the underlying risk factor so in this case the sensitivity is $250 so every time the S&P 500 index moves by one point the futures value will move by $250 so that's that's the sensitivity we also call it the Delta so it's simply the sensitivity of the derivative to the underlying risk factor multiplied 
by the risk in the risk factor itself the one day risk now that can be calculated basically one day risk is in other words what's the worst drop i can have on the S&P 500 index assuming you're holding the futures contract if you're holding the futures contract if uh, if the S&P 500 index drops by a certain amount then you're going to lose money so how much it can drop in a day with a particular probability so that's your one day risk in the underlying index you simply multiply that by the sensitivity and then you will have the one day war of the index future now remember the one day risk in the underlying index basically that's the one day var of the index so that's important to remember so these are basically some simple jargons that you need to remember how much the index will lose in a day you can call that with a, of course with a particular probability you can call that the one day value at risk of the index one day var of the index so in other words if you want to calculate the value at risk of a linear derivative in this case the index future you simply multiply the sensitivity or the delta of that derivative the the, the, the delta of the derivative related to the particular risk factor you multiply that delta by the value at risk of that particular risk factor so in this case for one day you just multiplied by the one day of the index multiply that by the sensitivity in this case it's 250 dollars so let's assume that the one day wa of the index is 10 percent in other words what we are saying is that in a day the index can drop by 10 percent let's assume that we are calculating this with a particular confidence level let's say with 95 percent confidence level we can say that tomorrow the maximum the index can lose is 10 percent with 95 percent confidence level so let's assume the in today the index value is 3500 that means tomorrow the index if it's if it drops by 10 percent tomorrow the index can lose 350 points in a day because we are trying to calculate the one day risk so tomorrow the index can lose 350 points so that's the value at risk of the index that's, that's the one day one day value at risk of the index is 350 points or in percentage times you can just say 10 percent the one day war of the index is 10 percent so this is i'm just assuming this the one day war of the index is 10 percent in in percentage terms or in value terms you can say the one day value at risk of the index is 350 points so once you calculate the var of the index you simply multiply that by the sensitivity and then you can get the var of the derivative in this case the index future so that's what we are showing here so that's the one day var of the index you multiply that by the sensitivity in this case it's 250 dollars so remember 250 dollars means that for every point move when if the index moves by one point the future will move by 250 dollars so you can see that the sensitivity or the delta of the futures contract to the index is 250 dollars so once you have the one day value at risk of the index which is 350 which simply multiply that by the sensitivity in this case it's 250 dollars and that gives us 87,500 dollars in other words the futures index can lose in, in a day it's, remember we are calculating one day war i mean you can also calculate the 10 day war but in this case we are calculating the one day war so the index future can lose in a day eighty-seven thousand five hundred dollars and that's a one day war of the index future now how did we calculate that we simply multiply the sensitivity or the delta of the future to the index we multiplied by we multiplied the delta by the one day war of the underlying index so that's that's the way we can calculate the value at risk of a linear derivative so 
one thing now if you have been if you're wondering how did we calculate this 10 percent what are the methods we can use to calculate the one day of the index because remember when i started i said i'm assuming that this is 10 percent how how do we know that tomorrow the index will lose 10 percent what are the methods we can use now there are various methods and that's the reason in this video i didn't want to go into that concept now you can in order to calculate the wa of the underlying the one day value at risk of the underlying you can use different methods for example you can use a parametric approach in other words you can assume that the index the returns on the index follows for example a normal distribution and then you can use a parametric approach or you can use historical shifts in other words you can look at the actual returns of the S&P 500 index, the one day returns for the last whole year, and then you can calculate the worst one day shift with a 95% confidence level. Or you can also use a Monte Carlo simulation. In other words, you simulate the future one day losses, and based on that, with a particular confidence level, let's assume with 95% confidence level, you can calculate the one day value at risk so to calculate the one day war you could use different approaches but once you calculate the one day war of the index you simply multiply that by the sensitivity or the delta of the derivative for in in terms of the underlying risk factor and that will give you the value at risk of the linear derivative so remember to calculate the wa of a linear derivative, you simply multiply the sensitivity or the delta of that derivative in relation to an underlying risk factor by the wa of the underlying risk factor. Now, in this case, the wa of the underlying risk factor is 350. In percentage terms, it's 10%. And the underlying risk factor is the S&P 500 index itself. So it's quite simple to calculate the wa of a linear derivative. You simply multiply these two numbers. And remember to calculate the wa of the underlying index, you can use a parametric approach or you can use a historical simulation method or you, you can even use a Monte Carlo simulation method. Now, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the delta normal approach, which is simply the parametric approach how you can use the delta normal approach to calculate value at risk. So on that example, I'm going to pick an example and I'm going to show you how I can use the parametric approach to calculate this value here. So hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, post it in the comment section or drop us an email or subscribe to our channel and we'll post similar videos in the future. Thank you.